Hey everybody! Happy Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. How are you all? I hope you all having a great day so far. It's a little bit of a rainy, dreary day here today, but it's been nice because I've gotten a lot done around the house. So, and it's been, I don't know, it's kind of nice to just once in a while have like that rainy, quiet day like I don't mind it I've been watching freeform so I've been watching like Halloween movies um I just got done watching the Goonies <laughs> so in that aspect it's been nice right now guys I'm going in with our VFX Pro Primer in our Silver Tube which is a mattifying primer it feels amazing on your skin um it's clear it feels like sheer velvet on your skin it's just incredible i love it love it love it now today we are gonna do a halloween look for you guys because believe it or not we are almost there and i wanted to do a couple more for you guys before halloween actually came so I'm gonna do one fall inspired Halloween look. It's an inspiration picture I saw on Pinterest. And I saw another one similar that um, one of another pharmacy beauty influencer did. So I wanna try and recreate it. I think it's fun. So let's get started with that. Um, because it's going to be a Halloween look, I'm gonna go in our liquid serum because I want a little bit more coverage on my face so that I have a really solid, um, strong foundation base to build my design onto. So I am just putting that with my dropper. I love, love, love the fact that our serum, liquid serum foundation has a dropper. I just think that it's super, super convenient. I just love it. Damp Beauty Blender, guys. Gonna go in and we are gonna spread this out and we will add more if we need to. So how is everyone doing today? How is your week going so far? I am having a pretty good week so far. Can't complain. Uh, every day above ground is a blessing. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'm happy for the most part with the way this week has been. I know that um, the weather's supposed to get a little bit better by the middle of the week. So hopefully, I don't even remember what day it is today, honest to God. I think it's Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? Isn't that terrible? I honestly don't remember if it's Tuesday or Wednesday today. I don't know, but honest to God, all the days seem to run into each other. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said it was Wednesday. Oh my God. Yikes. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Okay. We have our liquid serum on. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer right under my eyes. And I'm in the shade Bisque. There is no rhyme or reason how I apply this product. I just put it on. I don't do really any fancy triangles or techniques or anything like that. I just put it on and blend it out. I love, love, love our concealers, guys. They're so nice. They're lightweight, but they're really good coverage. Okay, and I'm just doing that because I want a little bit of lightness underneath my eyes. Okay, so cream concealer, liquid concealer in the shade Bisque. 
Okay, now we're gonna go in and we are gonna go in with some pressed powder. And I'm gonna go in with a zero, do I go with zero three? I'm gonna go in with the neutral medium zero three in our pressed powders. I don't want my base to be very dark. Um, I want to keep it really light because I want the artwork that we're going to do to really pop. So I don't want it to be very dark. But we are going to set the entire face for this look. And again, this is gonna be a fall-inspired Halloween makeup look. So it is gonna be a Halloween look, but it's going to be fall-inspired. Okay, so we have our powder. Let's bring that down our neck so that everything matches. We don't want a big difference between our face and our neck even though this is a halloween look we still want to look nice and do this a little bit professional okay now we're going to start off with building our eye look first and for the base of our eye look i am going in with warm to warm taupe which is one of our um eyeshadows from pharmacy let me grab a brush guys i cleaned out everything like i rearranged my where i do my videos off to the side of me i got a shelf i rearranged all that i got rid of all those like bins that i had and it was so unorganized now i know where everything is it's all decluttered i am so happy okay so in the crease, warm taupe, guys. Warm taupe. Now, this is going to be multi-colored, a multi-colored eye look. And you'll see why as the video goes on. But we are going to start off with warm taupe in our crease. And I'm putting this down as a base. And it may come back out on its own as the look progresses. I'm not sure yet, but I know that I definitely want it as my base in my crease. And I'm bringing it just slightly above my crease. I got my Perrier water here. I already had my coffee this morning. I made both my sons. My oldest was home from work. Today's off. So I have both sons here. So I made pancakes and homemade waffles for breakfast. They came out amazing. So good. Best investment is a waffle maker because you can use regular pancake mix and do any kind that you want or you can use a cake mix and make your waffles and pancakes that way too they're so good okay so again i wanted that blended nicely okay now what we're going to do is we're going to start building the first part of our look which is going to include several colors. So we are going to be using Golden Shot Cream Shadow, Green Bean Cream Shadow, Orange Pop Green Cream Shadow, and Red Glaze Cream Shadow because we want different layers, different colors. And we're gonna work from here all the way up, okay? So the base, the bottom part is going to be the inner corner, we're going to do a little bit of the golden shot in the inner corner. I feel like it's so dark in here. 
Okay, so we're going to go in and build the inner corner. Now you're not going to go too far over because remember we have a lot of colors that we need to add. And let me use this because I really need to see what I'm doing. And I am bringing that golden shot down to the bottom lower lash just on the inner corner at the bottom, okay? I don't want it to be too much though. And we're gonna build that color underneath. Okay. I hope you guys can see what I am doing. I wonder if I should put my other light on too. I feel like you're not going to be able to see me and what I'm doing. I don't know. Okay, let me go on to the other side now. We're going to do the same thing. And I mean, it doesn't have to be exact on the opposite side, you know, don't stress out if you don't have it exactly, exactly even. This is going to be like a leaf inspired look and no two leaves are alike. So don't panic. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the next color. And that is going to be Orange Pop. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do Red Glaze, and then we'll do Orange Pop, and then we're going to do Green Bean. Um, Let's see, do I have another Red Glaze open? Yes. That one opened already. Let's not break into the new one. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with red glaze. And now we're gonna work that red glaze as the next color. And that's gonna go from that middle point all the way to the end. And you can use any brush you want to apply these. I'm just using a flat brush. I just feel like I can get more precise with the flat brush. Okay, so we're going from the middle to the outer part, and we're doing the same on this eye. I'm just trying to get that as even as possible. And these cream shadows, guys, they're really blendable. And once they're on and they dry, they are there. They are not going anywhere. So you do want to work with them and blend them out while they are still wet. 
That's my recommendation. And on this eye, I am just going out into a point and then I'm dragging that color. Well, I'm sorry, you can't see, can you? I'm dragging that color all the way across the bottom to meet the gold. And I want it to come out almost to like a point. Okay. And if you don't like the way the point is, you can always just take it off while it's still wet. In one eye, I'm keeping it very slight. And then this eye, I'm taking it out. Okay. And we're just running it underneath. Just taking a little bit off of that underneath and just going in with my beauty blender and kind of wiping up that corner cleaning up that corner not wiping up but and then I'm gonna take a little brush into the red glaze and now just sweep it underneath. It was a little bit messy. So I just wanted to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so that's good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna go in with orange pop. And I need another brush for that. So let me get this one. Okay, so now orange pop, cream shadow. And now we're going to put that orange in this inner corner at the top. So we're going to go like halfway. And bring that down. This brush might be a little bit too soft for this look. Let me see if I can get another one. It's a little too soft. It's going to spread it a little bit too far. I want it to be precisely in the location that I want it to be. I don't want it to go anywhere besides that. And that brush was a little too wide. Okay, so we have our orange pop. Let me go do the other eye. And 
and I'm bringing it all the way up in this direction. And we're going to add more of that golden shot because some of it has been um, blended out a little bit more than I'd like it to be. So I'm going to... And we're bringing that orange pop right into our brows at the top. Okay. And I'm dragging it all the way across the top. So right across the top of the brows. Okay. And now I'm going to wipe that off. And we're going to go in and do golden shot a little bit more. And then we're going to move on to the green. So we're going to go back in and we're going to add some more golden shot to that inner corner because we don't want it to, we want it to stand out. Okay. And it kind of got blended out a little bit. So we just want to go back in and add some more. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is based off of fall leaves and no fall leaf is the same. Okay, then I'm going to wipe that off. We're going to go back into that red glaze and we're going to bring that over on this side now. Okay. So we brought that over. Now we're going to go in with the green. And for that, I think I can go in with a more fluffy brush. Okay, so now we're going to go in with green bean, which is a beautiful, beautiful green in our cream shadow. Let me open my mirror again. So we're going to bring that green now and build that in that empty space. And green beans, one of those colors that you can build up to whatever intensity you want. It starts off like really soft and then you can like really build it up. Like really. To make it super super intense and I'm just going in and filling that area that we left kind of blank okay and oops sorry guys I'm out of frame pay attention Charlotte Like, hey, lady, can't see what you're doing. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the little definer brush and I'm going to clean that other color off. 
and gonna go back into green bean and I'm going to just try and define that line a little bit so it's straight and same thing here I just want it to be nice and neat okay and like I said we We don't have to be perfect. You can see this side has more green, this side has, side has less green. So now we're gonna drag some of that green underneath the red glaze. And that's going to tie in the green. And on me, it gets a little tricky because my eyes down at this point are very wrinkly. Got a few years on me. My eyes are a little bit wrinkly, which is why I never try to emphasize them <laughs> any part underneath here. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I feel like my nose is running. I don't know why. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to start drawing out our design. So for that, I'm going to use a series of different eyeliners from Pharmacy. I'm going to start out with 04, which is a really dark brown. So now we're going to start to draw out our design. And for that, I'm just freehanding, freehand, doing it freehand. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be one heck of a tutorial. Oh, wait a minute. That branch got a little too thick. Okay, hold on. We don't need it to be that thick. Let me go in and just... that Get a little bit of product because I don't want it to show it's the thing guys you got to learn as you go okay Okay, now I'm just clean that up. And we're gonna just let that dry for a minute and then I'll put the other branch. I don't wanna do it while it's wet. So let me fan my cheeks. Okay. Thing with pharmacy liners is they are so super creamy that it doesn't take much to really uh, go a little bit too thick on a, something like this because they're just so creamy. So now I'm going to start drawing out the leaves. And I 
obviously I don't want them to be too perfect. Like that one, I don't like, so let me get my cloth. Be a lot better than using a paper towel. Okay. And like I said, guys, this is all like trial and error. Trial and error. Just trying to really like jag it, jagger it out a little bit. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with some of those same colors. And we're going to start filling in those leaves. And then we'll go in and we'll add some like vining to it. Then an orange pop. And then we're just going to kind of rotate, like we'll start over again up here and do orange pop and then we're going to do red glaze and then we're going to do green up here on this bigger leaf Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's see now, what number is this? This one is, I think this might be, this is 05, guys. So I'm going to go in and just. A little veining whoops and then let's see we're gonna go in and put maybe another leaf there and I want to go in with I think another gold golden shot Okay. Now, like I said, guys, you know, I'm no makeup artist, so this is just like just fun. Okay, now we're going to go on this side. And this side, we're not going to do as big. We're going to just kind of go in and do like a mini branch. Okay. And I'm just going to, let's see, 
trying to think of like It's really hard for me to draw on this side because I am, it's very awkward, <laughs> very awkward. Okay, so on this one, we're going to do golden shot. And I want to kind of, there we go, it was a little too round. I know some leaves can be roundish, but I don't think they can be that round. But I'm going in with red glaze. Going to go in with orange pop. And then we can always elongate the ends of the leaf if they look too round. We can go in and just kind of point them a little bit like I did with that one. Just give a more pointed look to them. Like that. Okay. Let me move my camera this way a little bit. All right, so we have that, and then I'm gonna go in with that green, and I'm just gonna run it along there. Okay, and then you can go in on this side now and make your point if you want to, or you can just leave it as is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry for a minute and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw some veining on it, but I need to let it dry for a second. Okay, clean up that. I 
I really don't like the way that one came out. I think it's just way too big, but to do it all over again, I don't know. Let me see. You know what, guys? Let me see if I can get some of that off. I, it's way too big. It's bothering me. Hold on one second. Let me... Let me use some a white a makeup wipe and see if I can get some of that off. Because it's just... It's too big. It looks like a thorn. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this without ruining the whole look. Okay. Then I'll just go in with... I'm going to let it dry for a minute. That was just way too big. Way too big. That did not look right. So I'm going to just go in with foundation on a small brush so that we can go back in and fix that and we go back in with some powder that looks better already that was like I don't even know what that was. It looked like a thorn or something. I did not like it. Okay, let's draw this again and just do a little, like a little leaf. Like I'm trying to do it kind of jagged. just wants to keep being big. I don't know why. I think I need to sharpen my pencil, guys. That's what I think. I need to sharpen. I think that's the problem. It needs to be sharpened because it's not it's not as sharp anymore. I can't get like precise. But this is real life, guys. So you just keep fixing. And that's all. That's all you can do. And I'm just going to go in powder again. That way it won't drag when I put it on. All right, I'm gonna switch out pencils. I'm gonna go in back in with, uh, what number am I gonna, this is number five. So I can just try and make a, okay, that's better. Much, much better. All right, and then I think I'm going to go in with the green because we have enough of the red and the gold. Okay. Much better. That other one looked like a thorn or something. Even this one kind of looks a little bit big, but it's okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Not too bad. Not too bad. They still don't look like perfect leaves, but that's okay. And then I think I'm going to go in on top of that one now and kind of just mix a couple of colors on top. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the orange pop. And 
and then back into golden shot. Kind of have one leaf that's like multi, multi-colored. And then we can go back and intensify that green a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to do the same on the lips. So we have our, um, our design on both sides of our face. And if you wanted to, you could put like a little shadowing effect, like here and there, if you wanted to. But I think it looks pretty good the way it is. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do our lips. Now guys, we are not promoting these as lip products at all. It's not something that I do on a normal basis. Um, it's purposely for the video only. Um, Pharmacy does not tell you to use these as lip products. Now, the other thing you could do above if you wanted to, you could put a branch coming up this way if you wanted to. Um, like coming right from here up and we could do that if you wanted to let's see should we do that let's yeah let's we'll do one little branch this is going to be a long video All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freehand some of the, the leaves. So that's golden shot. Let's see if that will show up. I'm not sure if it's going to show up without being lined. Okay, now we're going to go in and fill these. So one is, we already did the golden shot. Now we're going to go in just with orange. We did red glaze, orange pop, red glaze, I mean, orange pop, gold, red glaze, and now we're going to do green on this one. Okay. And we'll do another one. Another, let's see what color. I think we'll do another golden shot, this one. Okay, so that's done. So we got one coming this way. Right out of that eye. Okay, now we're going to do lips. So we're going to start off with, I'm going to do 
yellow here, golden shot. Okay, and then we're going to do orange pop. Sorry, it took so long to do this look, guys. Oh. And I'm going to overdraw. my top lip just a little okay then we're going to do green on this side So green and then red. And gonna overdraw. Clean that off. And back into orange. Okay. So now we have all the colors. Now I think I'm going to go in with our 3-in-1 face palette. And I'm going to go in with just a little bit of the blush color. Right here. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to use the highlight from here, too. And I'm going to put some right down the center of my nose. And I'm going to bring it all the way up. So it almost looks like sunlight. And then we're going to blend that out a little bit. Put a little on our chin. Coming down. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend it out just a little bit with another fluffy brush without disturbing the leaves. Actually, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush because I have a feeling that that's what will happen with the bigger brush. Now, we also have cream highlighters, which would look really good too. 
I'm just blending it out a little bit. We still want to see that glow because we want it to look like sunlight. So let me go back in with this brush. Okay. And I think that's it, guys. I think that I'm happy with the way that looks. Let me grab my little mirror here. And Just a little bit. Then I'll go in with a little bit of foundation and just clean that up. <laughs> okay, go in with my pencil. guys I know that I'm like going a little bit overboard as far as um perfection you know being like a little too intense on the perfection side it is a Halloween look but I still want it to look nice so I just want to do A little touch up. I don't want it to look sloppy. Like I said, even though it's Halloween, I still want to take pride in it. I'm just going in back with a little bit of foundation and just cleaning up and then we'll reconnect that other leaf. Okay, let me take my and that one's just a little leaf falling. And then and we go back in with the that's the orange. I mean that's the red red glaze. Okay, and then long one. I actually need this one. Right, and then I'm just going to add a couple more falling leaves. So I'm going to do the actually, 
Let me say, do I want it too clean? Yeah. And we're going to do orange. Okay, so you've got a couple of leaves falling. So I think that's good, guys. I think that is good. So you got the branches, the falling leaves, you got leaves on here, and our eyes mimic the leaves, and then we have our lip look. And I like it. I think it came out really pretty. I'm I think half the time I wasn't in frame and I apologize. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm still new at all these things. I have to like really concentrate. I'm not the one to do Halloween looks or like Halloween makeup looks. So, so that's it guys. That's that side. And then we've got that side. And then we have our lips. in our eyes so guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope that you will want to recreate something similar um and it may give you some inspiration of what you can do for halloween using just makeup that you either have at home um hopefully it'll be pharmacy and just to quickly recap we did orange pop cream eyeshadow we used red glaze cream eyeshadow we used golden shot cream eyeshadow green bean cream eyeshadow we used liquid serum um, in number four we used warm taupe in our crease and then we did the blush from the three-in-one palette and the highlighter from the three-in-one palette and for the leaves and the decorations um, we did 04 and 05 in our eyeliner pencils both are brown shades and that's how we did this look so i hope you enjoyed it guys have a great rest of your day and take care i'm going to take some pictures post them and i'll post this video up right after thanks for watching guys bye